Hey, if you're excited by all things red light therapy, you're gonna love this announcement. Hey guys, Alex here from alexfocus.com and yes, I have covered a lot of red light therapy stuff over the last few years and I've found that a lot of you enjoy it. In fact, you wanna know more about red light therapy and more reviews and more comparisons and more about the science and more about how to use it and all sorts of other neat things. So, I've got some good news. Uh, I've decided, you know, you know what, let's, um, let's do it. Let's cover red light therapy in more detail. So, this video is going to be a bit of an update, a bit of an announcement, I guess, uh, of what I'm going to start doing going forward. And um, at the same time, I want your feedback and I want your questions and ideas and products for me to review and, and all that good stuff. So let me get into it. Well, first things first, I should mention if you're new here and you haven't seen much of my work, I have tested, used, compared, reviewed a lot of red light therapy product, products. Um, I've got two second gen Biomax 900s behind me from Platinum LED. I've got a bunch of these set up in my gym. I use them all the time, but I've also used things like the Mito Red Mito Pro, the Juve Solo Gen 1, Juve Solo Gen 2, Juve Solo Gen 3, Solbacium Optics, Infrared, uh, Red Light Rising. I could go on and on Blue Blocks. Um, gosh, I can't even remember all the other companies now. There are so many out there. I literally compared 12 Red Light Therapy body panels last year to try and determine the best one. Uh, I have tested the handheld battery ones. I've tested big ones, little ones, all sorts, okay? I've also used a lot of these panels, not only the 660 and 850 nanometers, but I've used 810, I've used Flickr, Pulsing, uh, I've used multi-wave panels, I've used just red light, just near infrared, all sorts. I've also done a lot of research into the science behind red light therapy. I've got some rather in-depth articles over at my website, alexfigures.com. So I've covered I've looked into a lot of this stuff, all right? I've interviewed people, I've experimented, reviewed, I can go on and on. So, what I'm gonna do this year, and maybe into the next year, is focus more on giving back to you guys and more on educating you as to not just finding the best product or the best panel, but finding the wavelength that is best suited for your particular health issue or injury, or finding uh, the particular setup or particular stand uh, for your needs, or maybe the best protocol for treating, I don't know, an injury or helping optimize recovery or performance, whatever it may be. That's what I wanna do this year. So here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna start doing a, a regular monthly red light therapy news and update type video. In this video, I'm gonna look at news and updates from the industry, such as new panels being announced, new science that's been published, uh, new developments, new breakthroughs, new ideas, all that sort of stuff, right? I'll cover that in a video. I'm also gonna take your questions on board and each week answer one of them in depth. Right, well, depending on the question, I'll do my best to cover it as as detailed as can be. Uh, I'm also gonna share any updates that I have from testing new products or you know new reviews that I've done. I'll cover that in this series and anything else that I find worthy of your time. So each month I'm gonna publish that. Uh, I don't know what I'll call it yet. Maybe something like Red Light Therapy News and Updates by Alex Fergus. That works. If you've got a better idea, leave it below. Uh, and I'll definitely take it on board. I'm not the most creative when it comes to things like that. But each month, I'm gonna publish that. So, be sure to subscribe because you will get notified. Well, you have to click the notification button apparently. But be sure to subscribe and uh, you'll be the first to hear about those videos when they go out. At the same time, if you have questions that you'd like me to answer in that uh, monthly um, video, then leave those questions below or email them to me or just uh, leave a question on any of my videos and I'll eventually see it. If not right away, I, I, every week I check those questions and comments. So just leave it on any of the videos and I'll do my best. Again, I'm only doing these once a month, but I'll, I'll choose one good question and, and cover that in that video series. That's part one. Part two, I wanna start what I have been calling my red light therapy educational series. So in this series, it's gonna cover things like your questions, but also things that I think you should know about uh, or things that may confuse you when you're out looking for a red light therapy device. So what examples do I have? Well, I've got a list of them here because I've been brainstorming this over the last few weeks or months even. Things like wavelengths, what's the best wavelength for a particular uh, you know, 
recovery treatment or do we really need these multi-wave wavelengths or should we just stick the 660 and 850 nanometers so i'm going to cover that question in a video for instance uh, we're going to look at flicker what is flicker does it matter does it work uh, should you be worried about it we're going to look at things like pulsing rates we're going to look at things like power output what you need to know about it is there a ceiling too much power is there a minimum amount of power does it matter if you stand two feet away from the panel should you be closer all of those things uh, we're going to look at treatment times treatment protocols dosages all of this sort of stuff all right all these all these interesting things that you know the manuals and the marketing websites don't really cover or maybe they do cover but they sort of hype it up and say you know their panel's the best and everything else is bad which is not necessarily the case uh so that's what I'm gonna do. I, I, like I said, I've already got a bunch of notes here. Uh, we've been, my team and I have been working on this for a while. EMFs, value price, shopping guides, um, all that good stuff. So that's gonna come out. I don't know how often that's gonna come out. Hopefully one video a month on one big topic. It will be quite in depth, in depth. I'll do my best to keep a bit of a summary at the start. But the thing is some of these topics have quite a lot of information that needs to be relayed out there. Now, I have covered most of this stuff before a lot of it's over at alexfigures.com i haven't really done videos on it so this is going to be more bringing that content to you in video format but also updating it looking at new science and taking on board new information that i have learned and you know maybe has just hit the market like a new feature in a panel that wasn't irrelevant or wasn't applicable a few years ago so that's what i'm going to do two things a monthly news and updates uh what panels are coming down the pipeline giving you a question and answering it, all that sort of cool stuff. And then secondly, uh, an educational series. Like I said, I don't know what else to call it, but that's what I'm gonna do. So now, over to you. First things, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, silly, good, bad, stick to the reviews, I'm curious. Uh, though I've kind of touched on this before and the feedback so far has always been promising. In fact, I always get questions when I put a review out, hey, can you please explain this or this feature or this science? So I think the, the demand's there. Uh, but secondly, I wanna know what you want me to cover. I mean, I've touched on a few things already, but is there something else that I should cover? You know, maybe you got a question on red light therapy and eye health. Do you have to wear goggles? Should you wear goggles? Maybe you got a question on how many, are you better off doing lots of little sessions or one big session a day? Or can your children use it? I don't know, well, whatever it may be, if there's a question about red light therapy that you have, Leave it in the comments below. I'll do my best. I, I'm not promising I'll answer all of them. I'll do my best to cover it uh, in a future video. So if you're excited by this, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions that you want me to cover or topics you want me to, co you want me to cover, leave them below. But most importantly, hit that subscribe button and the notification button. So when I do publish this content, you'll be the first to hear about it. All right, guys, until then, I will um, see you later, I guess. Oh, by the way, I should mention, I still will be doing reviews. I've just done so many reviews in the last 12 months uh, that I'm kind of burnt out from the reviews, but also at the same time, I feel like, well, I've covered most of the products on the market anyway, but I feel like I've kind of covered that space a little bit now and um, you know, maybe I should move on to something else. So that's another reason why I'm doing these education series. Saying that, I know there's still some panels out there that I haven't reviewed, some companies that I haven't reviewed. Uh, so if there are companies, you know, that you want me to review their panel or product, leave them, leave their names below and I will look into it because I, I, I would like to still do reviews going forward. Uh, it's just not gonna be one a week or two a week like I was doing last year. All right guys, signing off, bye.